hopefully I've got it right and it will come off. If it doesn't, I won't be very happy. I'm going to try and... What I've got to do is I've got to remove any mechanical locks so things like this has got to come off. Uh, I've got to sand it down a bit. The carbon fibre and a lot of this stuff I already had because I bought it about 18 months ago. Easy man, easy. How the hell am I going to get that out? This file cost me a pound, by the way. I've got a few of them. It was on eBay. And a pound. I can warrant spending a pound on something I can just throw away. As I've said before, I'll say it again, I have never done this before, so it's all new to me. Let's just see if that flexes. Not in the slightest. seems to be cracking. Like that. Oh, look at the finish on that. Hey. <gasps> Look at the finish. Oh, that is so clean. What I've got to do now, I've got to get that piece out, that's that, that, that last little bit, and then I've got to clean all these edges up. There are a few rough places, uh, I don't know what happened there, and there's a chip there, and that's where I put the fillet in, and the fillet in there, uh, piece there, luckily, luckily, I designed it so as uh, this lip can be cut down, so it's, it, it's going to go, after I've trimmed it, it'll be well within the line, there's a hair in it. <laughs> It's a cat hair in there, look. It won't affect it. That's all the wet and dry done. I did it with 1500 and then 2000. First thing I'm going to do is clean it off. This is just um, IPA, 99.999999% IPA. Uh, just to get any contaminants off it at all. And now I'm going to go over it with this um, number 8 wax again. Mold release wax. Same as last time basically. OK, 
Okay, so I've got to leave that now 15 minutes. I just visually check to make sure it's all over. So that's got to uh, go off or dry, harden, whatever you want to call it, for 15 minutes, and then I can very gently buff it off. 15 minutes have passed, so I'm going to lightly, lightly buff this off. I'll put another coating on and then you leave it for another 15 minutes. Another 15 minutes have passed. So I'm going to do the same thing again. Now I'm going to put another layer on. If you want to skip past this, well, I mean that the entire video, just turn off. <laughs> just press the stop button. I'm going to do something bloody interesting. 15 minutes gone. I can't remember how many layers I've done now. And isn't this next one? I'm going to do another one just in case. You can't do too many, but you can do not enough, I think. <laughs> no, you can't do too many. Okay, last coat layer. The carbon fibre I'm using is the stuff that I use on the batteries, believe it or not, when I did the battery casing. When I skinned the uh, the battery covers on, on version 3 e-bike, was it? Yeah. Uh, that's the one that I used. It's the same carbon fibre, because I, I did buy quite a lot because I was intending on making all the bits out of carbon fibre, rather than just um, skinning it. So I'm going to clean this off thoroughly because obviously, well, I'm going to buff it lightly but thoroughly to give me a nice shine on it because obviously this is going to be coated now. There is a very slight haze still on it which I think is probably going to be good. I mean, it can be buffed out anyway so polished out, whatever. I'm doing 120 grams of resin and then I'm going to do I've got slow cure and fast cure hardener, so I'm going to do 50-50 to give me about a, a 60 minute pot life. 120 grams of resin. And then we need a 30 grams of hardener, so I'm going to put the slot off. <coughs> off. <coughs> I caught that on camera. <laughs> the first lot I've got to put on, um, I've got to wet this first and then I've already cut the carbon fibre to length and size so I'm just going to put a thin ish layer on here I don't know whether to cut this masking tape off, it was actually put on there to stop it from fraying while it was um, in the box, the bag, the tube, that was the one. You can actually buy a carbon fibre now that doesn't fray when you cut it, this stuff is terrible. people shouting at the screen now saying why are you doing it that way you should be doing off oh, off Oh. 
Right, this is peel ply, which is too big, but hey ho. And this is the breather. So what this what this does is allows air to go uh, through absolutely everything, which I'll show you in a minute. And it's also um, supposed to soak any excess uh, resin up. Right, I'm going to move this. I'm going to get all this off here. Clear this shit off here. I've got a vacuum bag here. I'll get rid of the water because that's going to go over. Seal this up. I've got my vacuum cleaner with an extremely short thing on it. What I've got to do is leave it for what 12 hours and then I've got to take this off and fingers crossed. All this will all be perfect. <laughs> nah, this is Tony. I could have put that a bit further down there like that. Because that should have gone into there a bit better. Right, see you in 12 hours.